Hello, this is Julie from Bubble Bows Class. Thank you for joining me. And today I just have a very quick and simple gift card holder or money wallet for you today. These have a little belly band which you slip off, open the lid, and then it's just like a little envelope style so you can slip your gift card down inside or your money, whatever you would like to give as a gift. I've done these for um, a birthday, but obviously you could decorate these too however you would like. So I'm going to show you how to make these. Pop them to one side. To do this you will need a piece of card. I'm using the baked brown sugar and this needs to measure um, seven and a half inches by six inches. I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and as always don't worry about any of the sizes or the scoring. There will be a link below that you can click on that will take you straight over to my blog and all the details will be there. So with your long side in the top of the scoreboard, we need to score at two and a quarter inches and five and a quarter. Then rotating the car stock, so the short side is then at the top, we need to score at one inch and five inches. And that's all the scoring done. Back to one side. And then taking your scissors, looking at your card, you can see that you've got the two short scores on either side and then there's a little box in each corner. We need to just remove them. So following your score lines, just come along and chop them completely away. Same on the other side. The last one. Okay. <clears throat> then we can come along and just burnish all of our score lines. This will help to make it crisper. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you will see that you have the longer bottom part and then a shorter top part as you fold it all in. And what we need to do now to start with is just take a little notch from the bottom of the two side panels. This then helps for this bottom flap to close completely down flat. And then by laying that flat, if you just take your scissors you'll see that you've got your two side flaps and they come right up to the top. We're just going to make a little slit on either side which gives us our mark. And then we can come along and we can just trim these completely out. So just trim across and then snip that completely away. Do the same on the other side. Okay, once that's done, come back along and just take another little tiny notch from each of these panels. And then when we glue this all together, you won't have any of the panels showing above your flap where you're gonna pop your gift card. Before we stick these down, um, you'll notice on these that I have rounded the corner. I can't find my corner rounder, so in comes the handy envelope punch board that has got a corner rounder at the back. So I'm just gonna quickly round them off. There you go, it's a nice rounded corner. Get that out of the way. And then I'm just gonna use some Tombow today to stick all of this together. So bringing in your two flaps, just pop your 
glue or sticky sticky tape down on these flaps and then we can bring the bottom up and just secure that all in place and then we can decorate I'm using Calypso coral and you will need um, for the top a piece that measures three and seven eighths by two and one eighths and then you can round the corners so that it all fits snugly onto the top then for the back you will need a piece that measures three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and then for the insert just inside you will need another piece that measures three and seven eighths by two and one eighths so I'm just going to go around quickly now and glue all of these into place using my Tombow just popping that all down what I like about the Tombow it gives you time just to manoeuvre it so that you can get your nice edging all the way round And then we can do the um, belly band and for this you will need a piece of the matching cardstock measuring 7 inches by 1 inches and then if you just lay your wallet on top sort of in the middle of your band you can then bring the edges up into the centre once you're happy with that you can then again Use your glue and then stick that down in place. Then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. So for this you will need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And today I'm using Label Love and I'm going to use the Happy Birthday stamp which I've already got prepared. And I'm using Sahara Sand ink. So I'm just going to stamp one of them out, put that to one side, and now I'm using the Artisan label punch, I'm just punching that out. I'm then taking some of the um, Calypso Coral card and I'm just punching out another label. And then with the scissors, I'm just going to cut straight in half of this label so that I can stick it to the back of my sentiment. As you can see on these, it just gives that nice bordering edge on it. So bringing back in my glue, just a little bead along the edge that you've just cut. There we go. And taking the label and just popping it on and manoeuvring it just to give you that lovely little bordered edge. Then we can do the same and pop this one onto the bottom and get the glue to come out. Oh, there we go. Just position that. Okay, it just gives a nice little bordered edge to it. Then take in a couple of dimensionals and popping them onto the back to the centre. And then bringing back in your wallet just to cover over your line of where you've stuck your belly band. Position your label down 
and that's it that's how quick and simple this is and an array of colours there so I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for joining me and I'll see you again soon bye bye